cube next is uh, D flip flop. So D flip flop has a single data input D and a clock input. Okay. So actually we can convert the SR flip flop to D flip flop by adding uh, an inverter. Okay, so this is diagram for D flip flop. Okay, so uh, the D is transferred from the input D to the output Q on the uh, 0 1 transition of the clock pulse. So, this is the truth table for the flip flop, just a simple truth table. You only have clock okay, D and Q, okay, only one input, okay, which is D, okay, and only one output, which is Q. Okay. So, based on this uh, truth table, it shows that when the clock is changed okay, from 0 to 1 and then your d value is 0 so what will happen to your q so q will follow value of d okay so when d is 0 your q is equal to 0 when d is 1 your q is equal to 1 so simple uh, operation okay, for the flip flop so we look at example of the q waveform here okay so you will given the clock and also your D. Okay, so we are given this clock and D. You need to draw your Q. Okay, so assume Q is equal to 0 initially. So your first start, Q is equal to 0. Okay, you need to carry Q is equal to 0 until you meet a clock. Okay, which is uh, here. Eh? Your clock is changed from 0 to 1. So this line. Okay, so this line. So what will happen to your Q? Okay, so you need to refer, sorry, you need to refer your D. So your D here is 0. So that's why your Q also is equal to 0. So you need to carry 0 until you meet the next clock. Okay, which is clock number 2. Okay, clock number 2. Okay, so at this clock, okay, clock number 2, so your D is changed to 1. So what will happen to your Q? Your Q also is equal to 1. Okay, until the next clock, okay, clock number 3. Okay, so at clock number 3 here, okay, your D is equal to 0. So that's why your Q also equal to 0. Okay, same goes with number 4. So D is equal to 0. So that's why your Q also equal to 0. Okay, so this is the operation of the flip flop, just a simple operation. Okay, you must remember for the D flip flop, it has a clock, it has a D, and of course you have a output Q. So Q will follow D. Okay, when clock change from zero to one. And our last uh, device is the latch. Okay, latch. So when we talk about latch, meaning that uh, this device that doesn't have a clock. Okay. okay, so the D latch has enable input E. Okay, has enable input E. Okay, because uh, commonly D operation only has one input, okay, which is D. Okay, so you need another control or value to make sure that you can determine the Q uh, output, right? For previous D flip flop. Although you have only one input which is D, but you still can find the Q value because you have a clock. Okay? But for the latch, you need something okay, to control the Q value. Okay? So we need to have uh, enable input E. Yeah? So when E is equal to 0, what happened? Okay, so the output Q is latch to the present state and cannot change if the D is changed. Okay, so that means by E equal to 0. So Q cannot change. Okay, meaning that Q still carry the same value from previous Q. Okay, that means by uh, uh, Q is latched to the present state and cannot change. But when E is equal to 1, so your Q will equal to D. Okay, so this is the truth table for your D latch. Okay. Input you has you have two input E and D, and of course you only has one output which is Q. Yeah. 
so the value of q k will ref, uh, depending on the value of e and also d okay so e have two values k okay, zero and one so what will happen when the e is zero okay, so your q will, cannot be changed okay so that's why your d value is x mean that we don't have to refer to the d value yeah, because Q will not change. Okay, whatever, whatever value that Q carry at that time, so it will uh, remain carry the same value. Okay, so I will show you in the next example. But if your E is equal to 1, okay, so you need to, uh, to uh, refer to the value of D. Okay, so that's why when E is equal to 1, Q and then at the same time D is equal to 0 so your Q also will equal to 0 and then when E is equal to 1 but at that time D is equal to 1 so your Q also will equal to 1 ok so that's why here ok when E equal to 1 Q output is equal to D so I will show you the example of a Q waveform ok so assume Q is 0 uh, equal to zero initially determine the QA form okay for the D okay sorry this is the D latch okay for the D latch okay so you will give an E and then you will give an D you need to draw your Q okay so E have two values either zero or one okay, and then you must remember the concept of uh, enable input what will happen when E is equal to zero so when e equal to zero, okay, q cannot be changed. Okay, q cannot be changed. Okay, so if the previous value that q carry at that time is zero, so it's, it need to hold the zero value. That means by the q cannot be changed. But when e is equal to one, okay, when e equal to one, q must follow d. Okay, q must follow d okay so we start here so q is equal to zero initially okay okay so zero and then uh, you need to carry this value of zero okay until this line okay so this line uh, you need to draw by your own okay yeah uh, y Okay, it still carry the value of 0 because you need to refer to the value of E. Okay, so E is equal to 0. Okay, so this line, the whole line is equal to 0. That's why Q cannot be changed. Because your Q is starting start from 0. So that's why it still need to carry 0. Okay. Okay, until the E is changed to 1. Okay. So here... Your E suddenly changed to 1. So this is 1, right? So this whole line representing 1 for E. So when E is equal to 1, what will happen to your Q? Okay, when E equal to 1, Q will follow D. So it will follow the waveform of your D. So that's why okay, here your D is 1. That's why your Q also 1. Okay, and then next, D is changed to 0. Q also will equal to 0. As long as your E is still equal to 1. Okay, and then here, your E is equal to 1 and then your D is equal to 1. Okay, so that's why your Q also equal to 1. And then here, suddenly your E is equal to 0. So what mean by what means by e is equal to zero? Yeah. So maybe you can draw the line here. Okay. So when e equal to zero, your q cannot be changed. Okay. So this whole line is sorry. This whole line is equal to zero, right? Uh, so meaning that okay along this line, okay your q cannot be changed so that's why because the previous value here is 1 so that's why your Q also will carry 1 
until here. Although in the middle, T is changed to 0, but your Q cannot be changed. Can you get me? Okay, so E equal to 0, Q cannot be changed. Okay, so this whole line is equal to 1. And the last um, mode, okay, so E is changed to 1. Okay, so what will happen when E equal to 1? So Q will follow D. So because here starting from here until here, okay, your D is equal to 0. So that's why your Q also will equal to 0. Okay, so this is how you draw your D latch with form. Okay, so output Q change immediately when D is changed. Okay, but still need to refer to the E value. Okay. Alright, uh, so that's all for chapter 7. So actually, for the last topic for chapter 7, we have application of the flip flop. So that one I will cover in the uh, lab session for the application. Okay, but uh, for the lecture, we'll stop until the D latch. So you, the most important part in this uh, topic for the flip flop is actually you need to remember all the names for all devices. We have SR latch, SR flip flop, okay, uh, D latch and D flip flop. Okay, and then based on four devices, you must remember how to uh, derive the truth table for each uh, device. Okay, the truth table and how you can draw the waveform. Okay, how you can draw the waveform okay, for each uh, device. Okay, so that's all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.